think the most important part is to take a proper history and to listen to your patient and not rush through symptoms but if they have a symptom of pain or of clumsiness or of numbness or of balance fallout to really ask might there be something else? Was there at some stage a point where they couldn't see? Is there perhaps pain? Did they perhaps struggle with bladder control? Sometimes patients say that they've been diagnosed with vestibular neuritis and they get a bit of cortisone and in all that time the vertigo was missed that was part of multiple sclerosis. So I think we should really sit with our patient and take a proper history and not only react on what they say but ask a a thorough history of all the neurological symptoms that can present with multiple sclerosis.